But the price hike they've had this year has kind of pushed the base Pixel 8 out of what I would call mid-range territory, which leaves us with the winning phone, the Pixel 7a. Now, sure, there are a couple of slight caveats, like the charging's a bit slow, but largely speaking, this phone, when you're using it day to day, it feels like it has no real weak link. It takes awesome photos. It has full access to the Google Pixel editing suite, which is world-class, good stereo speakers, up-to-date ports and connectivity, and the best part is the price. The phone launched at $500, at which point I'd probably just veer towards the nothing phone. But the thing with Pixels, which is usually a bad thing, but in this case kind of has a silver lining, is that the price falls very quickly. And at that price, this is just so much phone for the money and very deserving of mid-range phone of the year. And now, just before the winner, we should talk losers. So there's two phones that we're gonna be handing out the wooden spoon awards to. 